Hi guys, this is my review of the mini tab ROM for the Galaxy Note GT and 7000. So guys, to install this ROM, follow the method from the link one, and link two will lead you to the ROM thread. Uh, you can download the ROM from there. So coming to the review, this ROM is based on the Android 4.1.2. That's the Jelly Bean. Okay, there you go. And a lots of things have been ported from the Note 8000. So, for example, say dialer, you can see the dialer is really different and it's cool. Uh, even uh, the screen, uh, sorry, the grid size, you know, you can place eight icons horizontally. And uh, you even get these soft keys, you know, running background apps. Uh, so you can clear it from here, home button, back button and quick access button. So you can quickly access to these apps. All right. And also the app drawer icon is available over here. Uh, the google search and the page indicator and guys you also get the stock weather widget so the grid size is 8 by 4 you know it's really huge just to show you you can just see you know it's and it's different guys the background is different you get the stock jelly bean notification bar but it's a uh, tablet style uh, that you get in the nexus 7 you know the small notification bar i mean the width you know you don't get the full screen notification bar so guys the ROM is really really smooth, really fast, no issues there, no lags, nothing. Uh, also by default you get the ADW launcher, just to show you, okay, there you have it. So you don't have any issues with the launcher, it's uh, really really smooth. So it's all about a personal test, uh, whichever you feel good you can use it. So guys everything is working fine, you know, no issues with any of the functionality, uh, the camera, Bluetooth everything works perfect just to show you that uh, you don't have any force closes or anything like that okay say uh, opening up the s note okay okay it works no force closes okay there you have it it's working and you can also record your sketch okay you get this option as well so that's cool you can also take the screenshots there you go so no issues with the S Pen functions everything is working fine also the S Note pop-up works double uh, tapping onto the home screen will open up the S Note there you go also the multi window and the air view is working perfectly just to show you S Note on one and uh, video player on the another window so you can resize your window size as well alright and say opening up a video so you can see that the air view works all right just a second okay the air view works no issues there so guys uh, with this rom you know the voice talk has been removed and the s voice has been added so it works fine no issues with it it uh, perfectly it works perfect also the google now works there you have it so guys, all the Jelly Bean features like the new motion controls, motion controls, all right. You can even get this a tab view, all right. All the new motion controls and uh, the smart stay options. We have the smart stay as well, the multi window and the air view. Everything you have all the features from the Jelly Bean and everything is working fine. The only one thing that's not uh, available with this ROM is the Ripple Lock. Just to show you, you know, you get the simple uh, ICS lock screen. There you go. No Ripple Lock. That's the one thing that's missing with this ROM. But other than that, the ROM is amazing, perfect. Everything works. No issues with any of the functionality. So guys, for the battery life, the battery life is really decent, you know, 10 hours of heavy uses and a full day with a moderate use. So guys, that's the benchmark score. Uh, this ROM makes you feel that you are using a mini tab. Everything that you get with the ROM is working fine. So all the functions of the S Pen as well, everything is working and you have the Jelly Bean. So I suggest you to give it a try. So that's all about the review guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay subscribed. Bye bye now and have a good day.